Archaeologists have made a stunning discovery off the southern coast of Croatia, a 7,000-year-old road hidden beneath layers of sea mud in the Mediterranean's Adriatic Sea. This ancient stone road, buried for millennia, once connected the sunken Neolithic settlement of Soline to the nearby island of Kerkula. The fine sheds light on the advanced engineering skills of the Harvar culture, a Stone Age civilization that thrived in this region. The journey to uncover this marvel began in 2021, when Mate Parika, an archaeologist from the University of Zadar, analyzed satellite images of the area around Korkula. The images revealed peculiar structures beneath the water's surface. Intrigued, Parika and his team dove into the sea, uncovering stone walls at a depth of 4 to 5 meters, 13 to 16 feet, below the waves. These remnants, preserved by the calm waters of the Adriatic and the shelter of nearby islands, turned out to be part of an ancient settlement. What made this discovery even more extraordinary was the road itself, a four-meter-wide thoroughfare constructed from carefully stacked stone slabs. Hidden under a thick layer of mud, this path had been protected from the ravages of time and nature. Radiocarbon analysis of preserved wood at the site dated the settlement and rode to approximately 4,900 BC, suggesting that people once walked this road nearly 7,000 years ago. The Solene settlement, thought to have been an artificial island created by the Harvar culture, offers a glimpse into a bygone era when humans were transitioning from hunter-gatherers to more permanent communities. This culture, known for its ingenuity, likely used the road to establish trade routes between islands and connect with other parts of the eastern Adriatic and beyond. The excitement didn't end there. During further explorations, researchers discovered another submerged settlement on the opposite side of Korkula. Similar to Soline, this site also revealed remarkable Stone Age artifacts, including stone axes, cream blades, and fragments of sacrificial items. These findings, along with the road, underscore the Havar culture's ability to adapt and thrive in their unique environment. The discovery of the road and settlements was made possible by the collaborative efforts of researchers from the University of Zadar, Dubrovnik Museums, and other institutions. This underwater archaeological research revealed the advanced techniques used by the Neolithic Far culture to build and connect their settlements. The Soling site itself, once a bustling center of activity, was uniquely positioned on an artificial landmass separated from the main island by a narrow strip of water. The preservation of the site was largely due to the Adriatic's calm waters. Unlike other parts of the Mediterranean, this area is shielded from large waves by a series of islands, which helped protect the ancient structures from natural destruction over thousands of years. As Mate Perica explained, this area is unlike most parts of the Mediterranean. The surrounding islands cut the waves, preserving the site. Further exploration of the Soline settlement revealed more details about its construction. The road, meticulously built with stone slabs, served as a vital connection between the settlement and Korkula. Archaeologists believe the Har culture relied on this road for trade and communication, creating a network that linked the islands to broader regions, including the Eastern Mediterranean. The significance of this discovery extends beyond the road. Radiocarbon dating of wood found at the site placed the settlement's origins at around 4,900 BCE, providing valuable insight into the lifestyle of the Huffer culture. These findings suggest a society that had already transitioned to farming and animal domestication, enabling the development of permanent communities. Meanwhile, on the opposite side of Korkula, researchers found another submerged settlement similar to Soline. Located at a depth of 4 to 5 meters in Gradina Bay, this site uncovered intriguing Neolithic artifacts, such as stone axes, cream blades, and fragments of sacrifices. The layout and artifacts closely resembled those found at Soline, strengthening the connection to the Har culture. These settlements offer a rare glimpse into island life during the Neolithic period, a time when humans were beginning to explore innovative ways of adapting to their environment. Roads like the one at Soling reveal how early societies connected isolated communities, paving the way for trade and cultural exchange. The meticulous construction of the road at Solin demonstrates the ingenuity of the Har culture, which thrived in the Adriatic thousands of years ago. At 4 meters, 13 feet, wide, the road was built with large stone slabs carefully stacked to create a stable and durable path. Hidden beneath layers of sea mud, this remarkable structure had been preserved for millennia, protected from erosion by the natural barriers of nearby islands. As researchers continued their underwater exploration, they were amazed by the complexity of the Soline settlement. Archaeologists believe the settlement, once an artificial island, 
was purposefully constructed to provide a secure and strategically located home for its inhabitants. The road would have served as a lifeline, connecting the settlement to Kerkula and enabling the exchange of goods and ideas with neighboring communities. Radiocarbon dating of preserved wood from the site provided crucial insights, dating the settlement and road to approximately 4,900 BCE. This timeline places the Har culture at the forefront of Neolithic innovation, as humans transition from a nomadic hunter-gatherer lifestyle to more permanent, organized communities. The Solene settlement reflects this shift, with its sophisticated infrastructure and evidence of advanced planning. The discovery of another submerged settlement in Gradina Bay further expanded the researchers' understanding of this ancient culture. Found at a similar depth of 4 to 5 meters, this settlement displayed striking similarities to Solene, both in its layout and the artifacts uncovered. Among the findings were stone axes, cream blades, and fragments of sacrificial items, all of which point to shared cultural practices and beliefs. Together, the discoveries at Soline and Gradina Bay provide a rare glimpse into the lives of Neolithic Islanders. These settlements, built in challenging environments, demonstrate the adaptability and resourcefulness of the Har culture. Roads like the one at Soline highlight the importance of connectivity for early communities, enabling them to thrive despite the physical barriers posed by the sea. The calm waters of the Adriatic, coupled with the protection offered by surrounding islands, have preserved these sites remarkably well. As archaeologists continue to uncover more details about these settlements, the findings contribute to a growing understanding of how ancient societies overcame environmental challenges to create lasting legacies. The dual discoveries of the Solene Road and the submerged settlement at Gradina Bay have sparked excitement among archaeologists and historians. These findings reveal a level of sophistication in the Harvar culture previously unseen in many other Neolithic communities. The artifacts unearthed unearthed sites, including stone tools and sacrificial fragments, provide tangible evidence of their way of life, hinting at rituals, trade, and daily practices. The Solene site's artificial island construction, coupled with the expertly built road, underscores the ingenuity of its creators. The Havar culture likely relied on these structures to connect with other settlements and access resources beyond their immediate surroundings. The road not only served as a physical connection but also symbolized the Harvar culture's understanding of their environment and their ability to manipulate it for their benefit. What sets these sites apart is the level of preservation. Unlike many other Neolithic settlements that have succumbed to erosion and the ravages of time, the Adriatic's tranquil waters and the protective islands have shielded these remnants of history. This unique environment has allowed archaeologists to study the settlements in exceptional detail, shedding light on how early humans adapted to island life. The second settlement discovered at Gradina Bay added another layer to this story. Its close resemblance to Solene suggests a network of interconnected communities sharing similar architectural styles and cultural practices. The presence of stone axes and cream blades points to a society that had mastered toolmaking, while the sacrificial fragments hint at religious or ceremonial practices integral to their lives. The discoveries also align with a broader timeline of human development during the Neolithic period. This era marked a significant turning point as humans began farming, domesticating animals, and forming permanent settlements. The Harvar culture, with its sophisticated road systems and carefully planned settlements, exemplifies this transition, showcasing how early societies navigated the challenges of their environments to establish thriving communities. Each new find deepens our understanding of the Harvar culture and its contributions to early human history. The ancient road, in particular, stands as a testament to their engineering skill and foresight, connecting their past to our present in a profound and tangible way. These groundbreaking discoveries underscore the importance of the Adriatic region in understanding the ingenuity of Neolithic cultures. The Harv civilization, known for its resourcefulness, left behind a legacy of innovation that archaeologists are only now beginning to uncover. The road at Soline, buried under centuries of sea mud, tells a story of connection and survival. It reflects how this ancient community bridged their artificial island to the larger Corcula, ensuring their society's growth and interaction with neighboring regions. The artifacts recovered from both Soline and Gradina Bay, including stone axes, cream blades, and sacrificial fragments, hint at a society rich in trade and spiritual practices. These items are more than relics, they are pieces of a puzzle that illustrate how the Har culture thrived despite their challenging environment. Their settlements, constructed with precision and care, demonstrate an advanced understanding of engineering and a keen ability to adapt to island life. The Solene Road, a structure that has withstood millennia beneath the sea, 
symbolizes the resilience and determination of the Harfar people. As researchers continue to study these sites, each discovery provides a deeper glimpse into a civilization that helped shape the course of human history during the Neolithic period. The calm waters of the Adriatic have served as a time capsule, preserving a story that would otherwise have been lost to the ages. Beyond its archaeological significance, the Soline Road also stands as a reminder of the creativity and adaptability of our ancestors. The Neolithic era was a time of great transformation, as humans transitioned from a nomadic existence to the establishment of permanent settlements. The discoveries at Soline and Gradina Bay reveal how the Har culture played a part in this evolution, building the infrastructure necessary to support their way of life. As the layers of mud are carefully removed, these ancient structures are once again brought into the light, allowing us to walk metaphorically alongside the people who created them nearly 7,000 years ago. The Soline Road, the Gradina Bay Settlement, and the artifacts they left behind connect us to a distant past, offering a window into a world shaped by ingenuity, resilience, and a deep connection to the environment.